In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can do object tracking with Autolytics, but also how we can crop out objects and have an interactive visualizer, basically just seeing the raw bounding boxes of our objects that we're detecting. This has a ton of different use cases. The one that we're going to set up here is that we basically just have cars driving on a road, and then we want to take the actual image cut out. There's a lot of applications where we're only interested in the detection cutout itself, then we can do further processing on that. That could be crop out a car, then on that specific image feed through some OCR scanner or a VLM to extract the license plate numbers. That is a pretty cool use case. Let's just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. So if we go inside our documentation, we can have this different, we both have the different modes where we can do tracking. So we have tons of videos already covering how we can do update tracking with V8, YOLO 11, update counting, track them in different regions and all of that. So it's very easy to get up and running. It's pretty much just a single line or a single command that we need to get running. And the difference between detection and, and tracking is that detections, we just get them on individual images. We're tracking, we try to track them across the images in a video, for example. So we have this time factor taken care of as well. The each object, we're tracking it, we're assigning an ID to it, and then we can cut that out. So let's jump straight into our code editor. This is the results that we're going to get. So we have a car here driving around, we're tracking it, and then we actually just pull the cutout depending on the resolution. But then of course, if we can see the license plate, we could feed this into an OCR model to extract the license plate numbers. This could be used for all of the different types of use cases, but usually in a computer vision system, we want to use our detections for something. Could be that we just want to do object counting or just detect some object and we don't really care about what's inside it. We just want to detect if it's there or not. But a lot of cases we want to further do some post-processing and analysis on our cutouts. Usually you can also take a cutout and apply some margin so you get an even bigger region around our objects for further analysis. So what we're going to do here is just from Autolytics, we're going to set up our model. So let's make it a bit bigger here. So we're just going to set up our plotting with our annotators and colors. We're just going to use the YOLO nano model as default. We create the model, we set our video capture. So we're going to load in our frames for that. Here we have some configurations that we need to do for a video writer. So if you want to save your frames into a video file while running the system. So then first of all here, we can just handle some mouse click for object selection. So what object do we want to cut out? So this is an interactive object cutout visualizer. Then we can crop the object with pad and resize. So we can specify how much padding we want around it. And if we want to resize it to a specific size as well for our bounding box. So we just need to give it an image and the box. And it's basically just going to do a crop like a NumPy slicing. We have the full image, we have our object here, we just crop out only that specific region of our image. So that's what we're doing here. We just find the coordinates of our image that we want to cut, and then we're doing the slicing here. That's all. We, re we can res resize it if we want a specific size. So usually depends on the optics, how far it's away from the camera, depending on how big the bounding box is. That will also result in a bigger or smaller image, but maybe you need a constant image output resolution, then we can resize it at the end to a desired resolution or size. Then we can add the crop as an overlay in the top right corner. We can process our selected objects. So this is the pretty much just this object that we are selecting with our mouse. So we have our bounding boxes, we have our IDs. So we need our IDs for a specific object that we want to track. Then we crop, this is the pretty much just the full pipeline. So we have our IDs that we're going through. This is our tracks. We're going through it. We check if the ID is the one that we have selected. We get our bounding box. We crop it and resize it with padding, and then we add it as an overlay. So this is pretty much just the one to crop resize if you want to throw it through an OCR model or do further analysis. This is exactly the image that you need to take. Then we just return here to visualize it and this is pretty much what's going on in our processing loop. We load in our frame, we set up our model and tracking. So we just have our self.model.track, we throw in our image, and this is everything that we have to do. If you only want to run up detection, we just specify our predict, so not model. You can run it directly on the model itself. We can call predict, 
and we can call track. So don't really have to do anything here. You can specify the confidence score, all these different parameters that you can see inside the Autolytics documentation. So this is everything that we need. Process the selected objects. We're just going to show it for now and also write it out to our video. So let's see here, I need to specify the video path. So I'm going to grab this car one and then we can take car two after. So I'm just going to copy the relative path. We go back. This is the only thing that we need to swap out. If you have a custom model, you can just swap out your custom model here. It's going to run tracking with that instead. Then we can open terminal, Python, crop, and display objects at pi. Let's run it and see our results. So now we can see if we click on any of the objects, We like to like just get the track, we'll get the visualization in the top right corner. We can run the other videos through as well. So let's just terminate this one. Let's grab the other video example as I showed you with the demo video in the start. You can grab this one and again, this will work with any type of object you want to detect, any model that you have trained on your own. And again, you don't have to use the mouse input. You can use, you can just go through all of them, all the track IDs, show all of them or get the cutouts. So you can do further analysis on those. So we just need to swap out the path, rerun the program, and we can do the exact same thing. There we go. Now we're tracking this red car here, switching a bit of back with, between truck and car. There we go. We have this car. We can feed this into an OCR model. So this is pretty much everything. We can see how fast it's running. This is just running on a CPU. You can do update counting. You can track them. You can do speed estimations, get the license plate numbers, all these use cases. You can apply them, and it's just a few lines of code with Autolytics. This is pretty cool. Definitely go and check it out. This can be used for a ton of cool computer vision pro projects. And most often, we actually like need the cutouts and what's inside our bounding boxes to do further analysis and provide some business value and solve problems. Hope you learned a ton. Go ahead and check it out. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.